iOS 15 was just released, and today I'll be going over a really helpful new feature, Health Trends. Basically, you'll be able to see various types of health metrics and how they progress over time. This is really helpful information to know because measurement is key to knowing whether or not what you're doing is making a difference. So if you start a new workout program, you'll now be able to see how it affects your health over time. Anyways, now let's take a look at this new feature. When you open your health app, scroll down to trends and you'll see some health trends listed. Tap view health trends at the bottom to see all the different metrics. There are two categories here, trending and not trending. Your trending health metrics are those where there are significant changes over time that are worth paying attention to. Not trending health metrics are those that have been consistent over a long period of time, so there's no significant changes worth noting. For me, my trending health metrics include active energy, walking heart rate average, and resting heart rate. And FYI, I've been using an Apple Watch for almost a year, so that's where all this health data is coming from. I think my active energy is a really good example of health trends in action because you can really see a difference between my performance now compared to just a few months prior. In June and July, I was really active, running a lot and doing multiple hit classes a day. However, in August and September, I was less active, doing less runs and cutting it down to one hit class a day. It's cool because the health app took note of this and wanted to let me know that in the past five weeks, my active energy hasn't been as high. And with this information, I can use this as motivation to push myself harder because I know I've done it before. In each category, you can tap to view more detailed information. Within my active energy category, I can change the duration range of the data and see various highlights comparing my performance across different periods. Now let me break down each of the health metrics you can find in this feature. Active energy, which is an estimate of energy burned above your resting energy use. Walking heart rate average, which is the average heart beats per minute with a lower number indicating better heart health and cardiovascular fitness. Resting heart rate, which is the average heart beats per minute when you've been inactive or resting for several minutes with a lower number indicating better heart health and cardiovascular fitness. Blood oxygen, which is a measure of the amount of oxygen in the protein in your red blood cells. Cardio fitness, which is a measure of your VO2 max with a higher number indicating a higher level of cardio fitness and endurance. Exercise minutes, which is every full minute of movement equal to or greater than that of a brisk walk. Flights climbed, which is approximately 10 feet or three meters of elevation gain. Stand hours, which is an hour in your day where you stood and moved around for at least one minute. Steps, which is the number of steps you take throughout the day. Walking and running distance, which is the total distance covered by walking and running. And workouts, the number of workouts you've completed and how long they lasted. As you progress on your health and fitness journey and a new trend is detected, you should be notified by the health app in a push notification. So that's the new health trends feature in iOS 15. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fitness app content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.